in this episode. Trick shots that you can do with your phone. We're here in the great outdoors and as you can see behind me, the street lights are already on because it's about 7.15. The lighting conditions are getting low, the sun is setting. But today we are here to try some tricky shots because I heard that the P20 Pro by Huawei is really good at doing these kinds of shots in low lighting conditions and especially when your shots are tricky. Today we're going to put him to the test and of course, my own photography skills. Actually, this is the first shot. So, I call this shot the teleport shot. Don't you always wish that you could teleport? But it's okay. Since you can't teleport in real life, we all know that you can always do it on screen. Here's how. You get your friend to hold the camera, then you walk right into frame. You give it a hop. And this is the tricky part because your friend has to hop along with you. I mean, he just has to twist the camera back and forth. Then after that, you all change location. Then you hop and walk out of frame. Get it? Of course, when you're doing these kind of shots, you will wish that your phone has image stabilization. Most phones out there already have image stabilization. But the good thing about this guy is he uses AI on top of image stabilization. So what do you get? Even better image stabilization. Simple. If you're looking to spice up your Instagram game whilst featuring your partner, Consider the raindrop shot because it could really up your Instagram game. All you need is a trusty umbrella, a bottle of water, and the slow motion effect on your phone or camera. Here we go! Firstly, you need an umbrella. Open it up very simply. Next, you need your water bottle. Open it up also and plump it over the stick of the umbrella and start turning. Get your friend to get busy as well so while you spin, hit the slow motion button and voila! There you get your very beautiful and very interesting, very different slow motion raindrop shot. You can try to achieve this shot with 120 or 240 frames per second, but in my case, because I have the P20 Pro, I'm actually doing this with 960 frames per second, which will lead to very detailed shots for your slow motion stuff. So, give it a try. You see, it's quite tricky when you try to achieve the portrait mode in a dark environment like this. So I call this trick the portrait, a dark environment portrait. With the P20 Pro, it's already a mode. So you just need to switch to the aperture mode, switch it all the way to 2.0 and voila, you get your shot. Dude, look at how dark it is behind me. And look at the shot we managed to achieve. Simply mind-blowing, right? Sick! Next trick! Alright, so the reason why I am so dark in this shot is because we're trying really cool shots. Not moving light, but it's called the silhouette portrait. So all you need is two phones, or basically a source of light shining on one side of your face, and a very trusty camera on the other side shining at the part that light does not shine. If you get what I mean. So, you need, just need to position it this way, your source of light coming in just about at this angle. Then when you position it well, you can take the photo and you try to achieve something that is very artistic even in a very low lighting kind of condition. Remember when I said the P20 Pro performs really well in dark lighting conditions? This is a perfect example of that because it's very very dark here, but still it's able to churn out a very decent photo. Pretty cool, huh? Try it, try it! So we'll take you back to the classics with this light painting shot. Here's how to do it. You hold your camera still, make it really still, try to get a tripod if you can, and then adjust the shutter speed to really low. You press the shutter, tell your friend to get busy writing whatever he or she wants, then press the stop button, you're done. But of course, in my case, I'm using the P20 Pro, so it already has this inbuilt function. I just need to open the camera, go to this light painting function, press the shutter mode, tell my friend to get busy, and voila, it's done, out of the oven. Next one, on to the next oven. Okay, the next trick is a very simple trick, but yeah, it's able to really bring up your Instagram game by so much because it's called the 360 shot. All you need to do is get your friend to help you take many photos of yourself, put them together as such. You pick a spot whereby you are of perfect lighting. So now the job is for your friend to do a 360 degree spin 
around your body. You can do whatever action you want, whether you want to jump, 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 or you just want to stand still and do your thing. You just face one direction, your friend does the 360 degree spinning, and at the end of it, this will be the masterpiece that you will get. So that was the last we have of the trick shots for you. I hope you have as much fun filming it ultimately as I have fun filming it tier 2. Filming in low lighting conditions isn't actually that difficult or that bad after all. For me, the P20 Pro really helped me achieve that. I mean, the lighting is pretty harsh and honestly, it really, it really turned out great photos. If you like what you see, remember to like, share and subscribe and also share this video if you could and let us know in the comments below what you want to see more of. Till next time, I'm Timo.